Hello everybody, this is Nick with Top Automotive again. We got a, another Maserati uh, thing here going on. So this one here has a problem with vibration. Customers complaining, hey, my car feels like it's vibrating inside inside the cab. And, and it's fairly a common issue with the higher mile cars. This is 70,000 miles. Um, so here's what the problem is. You come over here, I got a piece of block in here. There's other ways of testing it. But if you lift on this, the left engine mount is actually loose. And these engine mounts are hydraulically filled. So whenever they hydraulically filled, they cushion inside. Once that hydraulic fluid breaks, a seal breaks around the hydraulic and then it leaks out the hydraulic fluid out of the engine mount, they'll collapse. And they're just gonna be basically rubber against rubber with the hollow area inside, pretty much a void. And when, what creates is a lot of vibrations in the cabin. Typically when we replace them, we replace both every time. We don't actually replace just one. You don't want to do that because what's going to happen is it's going to cant the engine to one way with the new one being taller, as it always will be. And this side is going to be collapsed and it's going to actually kill this side if this side hasn't failed yet. So you always want to do them as a set. Um, and it's a, it's a pretty big involved job. So when you have vibrations in the cabin, it feels like almost the vehicle is misfiring. That's usually your problem. But you want to have a qualified person check. Uh, that way it's done properly and you use a block of wood if you're going to do it this method so you don't break anything and damage anything. And if you're going to have it replaced by someone, that's the best time to do it is when you start feeling, when you, before you really start feeling, when you start feeling a little bit of vibration, you want to get it checked out because it can also cause uh, knock pickup, which will then allow your car to feel like it has a misfire, but it's a false misfire. It's picking up knock. The knock sensors think that there's a possible issue in the engine, so it's not a good idea to drive like this if you have this problem. But uh, anyways, that was pretty much it. Um, everything else, the transmission mount can also fail. So the method is the same. So if I take this here and we walk over here, this is the transmission mount here. Um, I'm gonna push on it to kind of demonstrate the hydraulic fluid if you come over this way. If I push on this, it's very soft. Uh, this one hasn't busted yet, so it's still functioning. But uh, I'm gonna find a good area to put this pry bar in metal on metal. And we're just gonna test it right quick. So you see that movement right there? So that movement there is, it's a little bit excessive. I would advise replacing it before the hydraulic fluid even leaks out because it has collapsed. And once it collapses, once it collapses to a certain uh, point, then what's gonna happen is it's gonna then kill the mount and the fluid will leak out. So that's gonna be completely failure. So that's what I would do. I would definitely replace it uh, before it fails fully, you know, do all three at one time. Anyways, thanks for watching. This was Nick with Top Automotive.